New details are revealing the final moments of Nathan Millard's life. The Covington businessman's body was found in a vacant lot in Baton Rouge, his remains wrapped in a large carpet. But so far, police say they have no evidence that Millard was murdered. John Shurik has the latest information from police. Police in Baton Rouge not commenting on how Nathan Millard died, ruling out murder for now. No evidence, according to the coroner, that he'd been shot, stabbed, or beaten. And yet Millard's body, they say, was found in this vacant lot in Baton Rouge, wrapped in a carpet. So it does appear that he was uh, left there, that that's not where, most likely not where um, he died. Where did he die? How did he die? Who left him there? Captain Kevin Hines. Do you believe drugs were involved? Um, I don't want to comment on that right now. I don't believe whoever put him there. If something happened and there was a, a moment of panic, um, come come forward. We just want to know what happened to him. Nathan Millard from Covington, married with a blended family of five children. He'd flown from Atlanta to Baton Rouge on February 22nd on a one-day business trip and then disappeared. Investigators now say they used surveillance cameras in Baton Rouge to track Millard that night and the next morning. He left a bar at 10.30 p.m. February 22nd and for the next six hours, police say, he was going from business to business. Millard last seen on video with others at 4.30 a.m. February 23rd. Police aren't saying where he was, just asking the other people in the video to come forward. At no point in time does Mr. Miller appear to have been in any sort of distress, and it, it didn't appear that, that there was anything taking place criminally. Millard's wife, Amber, texted me Tuesday night saying the family does not believe Millard died of some sort of accidental overdose. We're all just heartbroken, she wrote, not believing that all of the information they're hearing is truthful and wanting to know what happened to him, the love of their lives. In Atlanta, John Shurek, 11 Alive News.